Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Have a look at this video that was posted by our Prime Minister Scott Morrison on his campaign tour. Take a look. Defence Force pensioner. Avril's gone back to work to pay for the bills. This is their electricity bill. You can see it's paid, but they're paying too much. I look through your comments and you say, well, how are you going to do it? We're going to get the electricity companies in line. We're going to do it with new laws and new rules, which means they can't rip you off simply by you being a loyal customer. If you stay with them, you shouldn't be penalised for that. We're going to stop the price gouging and have tough penalties for the big electricity companies if they try and do that. And thirdly, we're going to force them to put more fair income, reliable energy, power into the system. Renewables are great, but we're also needing the reliable power when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing. That's what keeps the lights on. Lower electricity prices, meeting our emissions reductions targets and ensuring the lights stay on. And just watch and this last that. point and one thirdly, more time. We're going to force them to put more fair income, reliable energy, power into the system. Renewables are great, but we're also needing the reliable power when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing. That's what keeps the lights on. I've seen this video and analysed it a few times now and what Prime Minister Scott Morrison refers to as fair income power realistically is coal power. For those of you watching from outside of Australia, fair income is a phrase that Australians use in reference to things that are fair, things that are honest, realistic. And I think what the Prime Minister here is doing is trying to use that phrase to get voters on side with him. And he seems to think that the only way to reduce power prices in Australia is to keep relying on coal-fired energy. He even puts the question forward, you know, renewables are great, but what happens if there's no sun and no wind? Well, Mr. Morrison, there's actually a very simple solution to your question, and that's called a battery. And batteries are used all over Australia. At night time when there's no sun, the energy stored during the day in these batteries start to kick in and discharge to power households. And batteries can work across an entire state, in fact. South Australia, one of your states, currently uses the world's largest battery that was installed by Tesla. And some of you may recall that Australian billionaire Mike Cannon-Brooks, who is the one half of Atlassian, along with his co-founder Scott Farquhar, actually posed the question to Tesla to challenge them to build that battery in 100 days in South Australia. Now, Tesla came to the party and eventually did build that battery in less than 100 days. So speaking of Mike Cannon-Brooks, he was so upset with Scott Morrison's message that he tweeted back this reply. Scott Morrison, you've made me mad and inspired me. We need a movement. We need a brand for Australia's energy future. We need a rallying cry for Australians who believe in sun, wind and hydro. You said it perfectly, fair income power. Hashtag fair income power. Now Mike Cannon-Brooks is clearly passionate about sustainable and renewable energy, so much so that within days of that tweet, he created a whole new movement called fair income power to reclaim that phrase to mean renewable energy rather than coal powered energy. And in his interview with the ABC, he made it clear that fair income power was not meant to be a political movement, but rather about advocacy and lobbying for renewable energy sources, rather than relying on coal-fired power. In fact, he went on to say that he had lots of investments in solar technology, such as solar farms and solar plants, and advocating for lower power prices would actually hurt those investments rather than help them. But clearly he felt so strongly about the issue that he had to do something about it, which is really great to see. So guys, I'll place a link to Scott Morrison's tweet and the video that he posted on his account. I'll also post a link to fairdinkempower.com.au, which is a pretty good website. It basically outlines everything that you and I believe in, such as the fact that renewable energies are actually clean and cheaper and more reliable than coal-fired power. You and I know that, but it'd be good to educate the general Australian public about this as well. So Mike Cannon-Brooks, congratulations. It's so good to see people of influence such as yourself who are so passionate about sustainable and renewable energy. I'm hoping that your website, Fair Income Power, and your movement in general is going to influence Australians for years to come. Hopefully we'll see renewables overtake fossil fuel as the main generator of power in Australia. This kind of thing is going to benefit my children, your children, everyone's children for generations to come. And you know what? Ultimately, it's going to create a better Australia for our future. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to visit that website, fairdinkempower.com.au. It's certainly worth a moment of your time to do so. And you know what? I dream big, so I'm going to do my best to try and get an interview with Mike Cannon-Brooks. Uh, it's certainly a long shot, but I've got a few contacts lurking around which might help me to get there. So uh, stay tuned. You never know. Hopefully, it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world. And as always, happy charging.
Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use my promo code THOMAS7208 to score 6 months of free supercharging. Happy charging!